The Gravelberg Convent, uh, it's a place that has been sitting in the background of my mind for many years. The Gravelberg Convent is a place that I've heard stories about. I've been in Gravelberg, I've got family and friends there. And one of the, I think, most compelling points for me was when I was doing my intuitive session. This statue seemed to be thrown off of a cabinet in the room adjoining where I was. And it broke, and it was a statue of, uh, you know, an, art an artistic depiction of the Virgin Mary. If they're able to do that, then you have to wonder, well, what can they do to my physical person? And I've been attacked, I've been scratched, I've been kicked, I've been, I I've, I've had physical interactions with spirit. As as it turned out, one of the points that we were able to establish during that investigation was a, a connection with the Mother Superior of the convent. And she basically asked us to, to smudge and to help sort of uh, push away this devil, basically extending her hand and saying, your methods work, use them. So that was a, a really, uh, it was a sobering moment. It made me really realize just how, how much the work of, of people like Lee, you know, we are able to kind of use the medicine as a way to uh, bring forward our intentions a little bit more. So it was great to see that validated. Being in the Gravelberg Convent uh, was really, it was special because it's, it's one in Saskatchewan that uh, is sort of famous. Uh, this big grand building that's sitting in the middle of the prairies. Now we had the opportunity to speak with one of the nuns and she actually told us that we had brought in the devil. Um, and, and that's part of why she was telling us to um, maybe not be in the space. And we had misinterpreted that at first. In our investigation though, it wasn't, it wasn't what we thought it was gonna be, which um, she actually affirmed that, okay, you've brought in the devil and this is how you can help. And she affirmed that we should use sage, uh, that smudging would actually help us. So once again, just feeling such an affirmation from somebody that I didn't believe um, would say that, somebody who is a high member of the church. Um, so it was, it was just really powerful to have this person say, use your methods, use your medicines to ward off bad spirits. Um, so affirming. Yeah, and then when we get to Gravelberg, who should we meet but this Mother Superior, a woman, a very strong woman, who is really adamant that you guys are not Catholics, you know, why are you here, but I still need your help. And we didn't figure that out till the second day. But I think she felt that the, the little boy downstairs really wanted to move on and she wanted him to see him move on. So I went in with um, Aaron and Jeff and we laid down some cedar smudge so we can kind of get him out of all those hiding corners and then move him out. You know, in the end I told him, it's time to go to see your mom now. So I hope that happened. I think it probably did. But if he didn't, if he decided not to leave, he's still protected and that's okay.